but typically the weight of acceptance is higher on the pre-rec GPA, all right? So if you're in school right now to set yourself up for success, if you're doing any of your pre-rec classes, bio, chem, physics, right? Anatomy, physiology, all of that, you gotta get that A. You gotta try really, 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 really hard to get a good grade in that class. Hello everyone, my name is Justin Lee and I'm a third year DBT student at Azusa Pacific University. I create vlogs to help share classroom and clinical experiences and give you the inside scoop on how to get into DBT school, how to thrive in DBT school, and how to set yourself up for success after DBT school is done. Today what we're gonna talk about is overall GPA more important or prereq GPA more important? All right, so can I just share a quick story? So I got into APU with a 2.3 GPA under academic probation. That meant I couldn't take a certain amount of units. Uh, I had to meet with a counselor every week to talk about school and stuff and studying. And there were some other limitations. And I went into school and thank the Lord, God, thank you for accepting uh, my application, giving me a second chance. Even though it was under academic probation, I'll take it because I knew that I was ready to go to school. And so as I went to Azusa Pacific because I knew that they had a doctorate of physical therapy program. And if I get in, I'm gonna set my sights up on doctorate of physical therapy school. And I'm just gonna march forward and nothing is gonna stop me. And I'm just gonna go, go, go. And I just told myself that. I said, don't believe the lies. Don't believe the doubts. Don't believe the words from others. Just go right and i'm so thankful that i did i do have a uh, wonderful uh, family support to really help me and push me in that direction and so i worked my ass off and long story short i got into doctor of physical therapy school from there now the reason why i bring up this story is because my overall gpa started out at 2.3 and i had no prereqs and then I had the opportunity to take my prereq classes, get good grades, and take myself out of the hole so that I can end up with a good enough GPA to actually get looked at for DPT school, right? And so just to give you some numbers here, um, for all the prereqs that I had to take, I got all A's except three B's, I believe. So I worked really, really hard to get those A's and bring my prereq GPA really high. And I think I got my overall GPA accepted at like a 3.5 or something like that. Um, so now as you see these numbers and as the counselor or as the admissions uh, counselor is looking at your application, um, one, they're gonna see that, oh hey, Justin really brought up his grades, right? From the whole 2.3 academic probation and ended up with the 3.5 amazing he said he's he's thinking that he's taking school seriously right and then also the reason why they take prereq gpas is because the typically these prereq gpas are very hard bio chemistry physics psychology right science core science classes where you have to students have to have a certain level of of academic rigor um, or maybe a academic discipline or just academically they have to know how to be how to push themselves and so that just the GPA is just a measure of that unfortunately but it kind of makes sense because this is a way to prove to the school hey I can get good grades in these hard science classes and I know how difficult it is with right four hours of lab, three hours of lecture and, and all of that. But now when you get into doctorate school, <laughs> it's three times that amount. <laughs> so if you can do good here, then likely you can do it here. And the school has been doing this for a while. So they kind of understand and can see the student as a person as a whole when they're accepting or not accepting students. But typically the weight of acceptance is higher on the pre-rec GPA, all right? So if you're in school right now to set yourself up for success, if you're doing any of your pre-rec classes, bio, chem, physics, right? Anatomy, physiology, all of that, you gotta get that A. You gotta try really, 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 really hard 
to get a good grade in that class or those classes. And if you have already taken it and didn't do so well, it's okay. Go back, take it again, score high, get an A, and then we'll get the medium or I think some schools take the better grade. But still, regardless, if you show that you got a D or a C in your bio class and then you show that you took it again, you got an A, that's showing the school that, hey, you're taking this very seriously and they take that into consideration. All right, you guys, I hope this helped. I know this question was something that I had on my heart when I was ex when I was going into DPT school. So I hope this helped you. If you have a friend that this is going to help, please share it with them. And if you have any questions for me, please comment below. All right, you guys, have a great one.